I want to make the case for getting really clear on what instructional equity is with the understanding that issues of race, culture, and bias can absolutely grow from that context. Equity requires a context. Uh, PLC is an equity initiative, has been for 40 years. And let's say we've decided that every fifth grader has got to know how to make this remote. This remote's got six, carry to one, eight buttons. We've decided that every fifth grader's not got to know how to make this remote because it's going to help them succeed at the next grade level, the next course, the high stakes assessment where applicable and life beyond the K-12 system. So this is equity's context. Right? When you see the hashtag start with the crown, this becomes the crown. And because it's essential, we hold this crown in place and grow every student to the crown. Now, if within our commitment to grow every student to the crown, we start seeing patterns that are, you know, aligned with issues of race, bias, language, culture, then we address them. But you're addressing them on solid ground with a solid foundation equitable practice. Here's how to define equity in a culture of belonging and inclusion, providing students what they need when they need it with urgency to master essential learning outcomes. And we've deemed this an essential learning outcome. This is not all they'll learn, but we've decided that this is essential, which means every student has to walk out mastering this content. There's also this remote. It's got, I don't know, I'm guessing 30 buttons on it. This isn't an essential outcome but there'll be opportunities for students to master this one and some will aspire to master them and some won't and that's okay. Because above that crown, kids will separate themselves, right? So this is still available to learn, but this one has been deemed essential. Equity must have an essential outcome. There has to be that place where all students have to go. And in a PLC culture, it brings us right back to question one. I know it's not exciting. It's not hot. It's not full of clicks and drama, but it's where equity lives. So if you're really about equity, then you're gonna engage with question one of the PLC process, which is what do we expect every student to know and be able to do? And the last thing I'll say about it is, it's not enough to identify what's essential for every student to learn. The key to equitable practice is the commitment to ensure every student walks out mastering this regardless of background regardless of drama regardless of who the mama is the daddy is where they live what the zip code is your experience with the brothers third generation essential means essential and what you do collectively to ensure every student masters this is equitable practice start with the crown